Day two was another strong day of competition here at the OA Games 2022. Athletics got off to a roaring start over at the Queensland Sports and Athletics Centre. There was an inspiring first over in the Javelin as this Games marks the first time that the Solomon Islands have competed in a Virtus event, and they've already come away with a medal. In the men's Javelin II-1, Solomon Islands finished with silver when Cosmo Morfolia threw 31.14 metres. Very, very feel happy. In the final of the men's 100m II-1, Mohammed bin Yakub of Singapore finished with a blistering time of 11.59 seconds, followed closely by Josh Lush of New Zealand and Australia's Sammy Mwamba, who finished third. I like I executed the race pretty well. I uh, did my drive phase and execute uh, how I wanted to, and uh, it's good uh, to make the final, and yeah. Uh, feels uh, pretty amazing, uh, to be honest. It's a goal I've been chasing uh, for a long time now. I've been doing it for 10 years, and to finally come to this point and represent Australia feels so good, and I feel proud of myself. Over in the women's 3v3 basketball, Australia A took on Australia B with a final scoreline of 14 to 9. We played the other Australian team, so it was always going to be tough, um, but I'm just proud of my girls to, to get the result. The ladder for the women's after round four has Australia A out on top. We won, but it was pretty tough. Out at the Queensland State Rowing Centre, not even the rain could deter Australia's Mac Russell, as he delivered yet another dominant performance. Today, he finished with three gold medals, bringing his total to five gold medals and one silver over the two days of competition. In rowing, you don't get much opportunity uh, for IIs. The only other opportunity I've had is uh, at the Global Games in 2019, so it's very exciting to have the opportunity. Back at the Brisbane Aquatic Centre, we were treated to the first day of swimming. In the men's 100 metre freestyle II3, Jacob Thompson from Australia took first place with a time of 1 minute, 2.75 seconds, narrowly beating out New Zealand's Finn Russ. For the first day, I wasn't expecting getting, getting some medals, but then I did. There I am. And I'm just so glad to be here and all my family and my um, parents will be proud of me right now. And also my teammates up in the um, stairs as well are proud of me. In the 400 metre freestyle multi-class II3, Australia's Gabrielle Cregan was first to the wall ahead of Lance Dusto and Tate Pichon of New Zealand. It, massive. Um, I, I've always dreamed of going to the Olympics and representing my country, but I never thought I would at 15. Yeah, it's such an honour to do so. At the end of day two, Australia leads the medal tally with 10 gold, eight silvers and five bronze. Japan is in second with three gold and two silver. India rounds out the top three with one bronze. Day two was another fantastic day and we can't wait to see what else our athletes deliver on day three. Live streaming continues for swimming and table tennis from 9am and athletics at 10am. Stay tuned.